In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, restore and transfer all the data from an older iPhone over to your new uh, iPhone. Uh, this is the iPhone XS or the iPhone 11, 11 Pro. And you can do that easily um, with the wireless uh, transfer. And that will allow you to transfer all the data over, everything uh, from data to apps to uh, photos, contacts, uh, passwords. So everything will be copied over and uh, it's very easy so i'm going to show you how you can do it so basically make sure both phone is uh, fully charged before you do a transfer of data over and here on the phone you can see on my older phone uh, it automatically um, detects that um, i have a new phone ready to uh, set up so if i just want to switch it off and then when i have the two phone close to each other and this one is in the setup mode as you can see this one here will pop up and say setting up new iPhone so I'm going to tap on the continue button and then automatically this phone uh, will somehow communicate to one another so I, all I have to do is now on my old iPhone I'm going to place it over the dot right here so it will scan that, that blue dot and it will try to connect so now the two phone attempt to connect with one another and here you can see this iPhone try to copy the data over from this phone and whatever uh, settings on this iPhone will be transferred over to this one, to the new iPhone. You can see that's pretty much uh, very easy. Just uh, basically switch on your new iPhone and make sure they are close to it, uh, each other. And this one automatically detects this phone is sending out a signal saying, hey, I'm ready for setup. Hey, I'm ready for setup. And this one will um, basically pop up with a message. So one of the hardest um, thing, uh, one of the hardest thing about uh, upgrading a new uh, phone is that you have to go through the stress of um, transferring the data over, photos, contacts, and I found make it really easy uh, for us to do this. Now this process can take a while, uh, especially if your older iPhone is 128 gigs or 256 gigabyte of data and you have a lot of data on your phone, a lot of photos or videos that can take quite a, a while to tr transfer all the data over. So just uh, be patient while it's doing it. You can just leave it like that and go off, uh, get yourself a coffee or get yourself a book to read and then we will continue to monitor the progress. Okay, on this step here, we have the opportunity to um, set up Face ID. Now, if you want, you can set up Face ID now, or you can uh, do that later in settings. So I'm going to choose uh, set up later in settings. And here we can set up a passcode. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a passcode. And I'm going to choose uh, use anyway. So I have uh, created a very simple, easy to guess um, passcode. And uh, now it's a uh, transfer your, da your data. So how do we want to transfer the data? Transfer from iPhone. So this will transfer directly from this iPhone to this, uh, from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. Or uh, we can uh, download from the cloud. So if this one here, if it has been backed up to the cloud before, we can uh, down download it directly from the cloud. So to make, uh, to make things easy, I would choose uh, transfer from iPhone so that it doesn't need to download anything from the internet. So I'm going to choose the option there. And then say now setting up your Apple ID. Now on the next screen, I have an option to restore backup before restoring. I restore from the most recent uh, backup. So that's your choice, uh, what you want to do. So I'm going to choose restore from this one here. Uh, in your case, you might want to update first before restoring uh, i choose this option so that i can quickly show you uh, how the process work now i'm going to choose agree tap on the agree button down here and you can tap on enable or disable location services i'm going to choose enable location services and we'll just wait and now you can also set up uh, apple pay id now you don't have to set up uh, apple pay now you can do that later uh, once you go into your home screen, there is a wallet that you can tap on wallet to set up your Apple Pay. So I'm going to choose set up later in wallet. And then you can set up Siri again. You can set up Siri now or you can set up later in settings. I'm going to choose set up later in settings. And 
you can choose to share your data with Apple or not. I will choose don't share and tap on continue. And now it's a data transfer cancel. We set iPhone to restart the setup again. So for some reason, if you run into these issues, then try to reset the device and then try to restore again. Uh, it's not always going to be perfect. If you run into problems, uh, do reset, uh, follow the on-screen instruction, and we start again. Okay, after I try again, and we're up to that same steps, I'm going to put in this passcode, and then I'm going to choose again. This time I'm going to choose update backup before restoring, just to make sure there's no problem. We're just going to wait, and then tap on agreed, enable location services, and set up later, wallet we'll later, set up later in settings, and then we don't share, tap on continued, and then okay, so same problem again, data transfer cancelled. Hello, hi, hello. Okay, so if you're still facing that cancel error problems. What you need to do is just make sure that your phone is plugged into charge. Now, as I said, you need to have your phone fully charged before, but my phone is running low on battery. So because I didn't have the charge cable plugged in, so I keep getting that um, cancel error. So just make sure that you plug into the charger and the transfer process will continue. So here the phone will now proceed to set up. You can see here say transfer complete. You can tap on, tap on the continue button. So all the data, once you see that screen, all the data is now um, transferred over to this phone. And this phone is now ready to uh, set up uh, the device, such as uh, installing apps, um, loading the apps, and um, setting up the apps that, that, would, uh, that would look uh, exactly on your old iPhone. So basically everything should stay the same. Uh, all your logins should be the same. Your email, if you've got Facebook, you should be able to launch Facebook without having to re-enter the password. Um, you should be able to access almost everything without having to um, uh, set up anything again. So here it is. So I'm just going to put in the passcode and tap on continued. So I'm kind of glad that error comes up where it said um, has been uh, the data transfer has been cancelled. Uh, because if you were to face the same problem, at least then you would know how to fix it uh, by simply just plugging in the charger cable. So now it is uh, setting up the phone. So it's going to ask me to set up my Apple Pay again. I'm going to choose set up later. And tap on continue, continue, continued. And then up. And that's it. Sometimes you might see that some of the apps is not ready to use. Um, for example, you can see if you have a lot of apps on your home screen, you will see that it will try to download uh, apps. So be patient. Uh, sometimes you have to wait uh, for a couple of hours uh, for the other apps to install, depending on how much apps you got and how much data there is. Because this phone doesn't have a lot of apps on it, so there's not much for it to copy over. But if you got a lot of apps, just make sure that you wait for it to finish. Finish. Now, if you also if you see the app is stuck on loading. Then what you want to do is um, go into iTunes and lock out. So go into settings, go into iTunes and then lock out and then lock back in and that will fix the problem. So here's an iTunes and you can, um, all you have to do is just uh, make sure that you sign out and then sign back in and that should fix the problem with, if it's stuck in the loading area. And that's pretty much it. You can see everything is copied over, your iTunes login ID, uh, your Apple ID should be also get transferred over as well. And um, other settings also should be uh, get transferred over. So you can see the two screens, they're pretty much um, identical. So it looks exactly the same. Everything should look the same. Um, even the password in Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi uh, inform information also get transferred over to your new phone. So you don't even have to put in the Wi-Fi password. It will automatically uh, get from the old phone and transfer over to your new phone. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.